let's look at Kate Warren. She was the first female detective and a master of disguises. We're going to look at how you can use disguises too. Alan Pinkerton started the Pinkerton Detective Agency in 1850. And in 1856, he hired Kate Warren as the first female detective in his agency. He thought she was there to be a secretary, but no, she wanted to be a detective. Warren convinced Pinkerton that she could go places where a man wouldn't be able to go, and to gain confidences and learn information a man couldn't. One of her skills was her ability to wear a disguise and to use different accents. Some people even think that Kate is in this picture, disguised as a man. Can you see her? But there is a lot that we don't know about Kate Warren, partly because many of the records about her cases were destroyed in a fire in 1931, but partly because she didn't want us to know. But we do know that she helped save Abraham Lincoln's life from an assassination plot by disguising him and herself. She smuggled him onto a train and guarded him all night. Why do detectives wear disguises? It's so people don't recognize you. It hides your true identity, and you can change your look quickly. If you want to go to a place to ask some questions, but you want to go there first to look at the lay of the land to see where the doors and windows are, you don't want people to necessarily recognize you the second time you go back. So if you wear a blue wig while you're asking some questions, and then take the wig off and ask the same questions to the next person, they won't know that it's the same person asking the same questions, even if they talk to each other. So some things that can help change your look or add to your disguise are glasses, even without the glass can help, hats, scarves, wigs, even different styles of clothing, anything that doesn't look like the normal you. Of course, it's possible to go a little over the top with your disguise too. That will really make you stand out in a crowd, which you do not want. Back to Kate Warren, our first female detective. She showed a lot of things that we all could strive to as junior detectives. She was brave, she was smart, and she herself was a mystery, just like the mystery she solved. I would love to see any disguises you come up with. So ask your mom, dad, grown up, whoever's in charge of you, if he or she will email a picture of you in your disguise to the email address on the screen. We'll put them on our Facebook page. I would just love to see how you look. Check out windsorpubliclibrary.com for these cool books about disguises and detectives.